Hi guys, it's Talia Knights here and you see, I'm keeping my promise because I said in my last video that I really try to make another video as soon as possible and I'm doing it right now. Um, I'm sorry that I'm wearing exactly the same costume that I was wearing in my last video because I'm actually filming this right after I did my last video. So, yay! <laughs> um, the reason I'm doing this is because I just Remember, I forgot to talk about the most wonderful thing that happened to me this summer because I was going out first time in my life in a dress. Going out in a dress is something that many crossdressers kind of sort of dream about. It's kind of like the ultimate challenge for crossdressers to trying to pass as a woman in public where there are many people. To be honest, um, going out in a dress is not something that I would definitely want to do. I enjoy uh, taking photos and uh, doing this on my private and maybe now and then ask a few friends come over and uh, I can be a, a girl <laughs> with them. But uh, not going in public. That going in public is not something that I desire. I happen to live myself in a very conservative part of Finland. And that conservatism really means that I can't go out without enormous stress. Like, if somebody would ever, like, uh, notice me, who I am, and uh, <sighs> The word gets around that I am a guy who likes wearing women's clothes, uh, that would probably mean really, really bad things for me and uh, most definitely ruin my life in some parts. If it was only for me, but it's also something that I have to consider uh, what it would mean to my family and my loved ones. Like, I hate that the world is like this. But that's the reality, and I certainly won't ever go out wearing a dress where I live. And that is just something that I I have accepted, that uh, that is something that is a reality here. But still, last spring I got really curious for that idea. Like I was imagining that if I could go somewhere that I was, like, there was no chance of anyone noticing who I am. And, like, no chance for anyone I know ever finding it out, uh, I would probably like to try it. Because I, <laughs> I, I do like trying new things. I like experimenting. And I'm, I was really curious about that. So, then came one friend of mine who suggested me that I would go visit her last summer and she would take me out as her girlfriend Talia. And I got really curious and I thought that it would uh, bug me for the rest of my life if I didn't try it. What I was still kind of worried about was passing, because um, passing as a woman is something that obviously crossdressers are trying to achieve and uh, still the golden rule of a crossdresser is that you should never assume that you would pass as a woman. Like very very few crossdressers can actually pull off a 100% legit women in and that was really something that I was ner nervous about. But luckily there was something that I came to consider. And it was the fact that there has been so much talk in the media about trans people. If you can achieve a look of a transitioning trans woman uh, in a place 
where uh, people are generally well informed of trans people existing and they respect them. Um, I would say that is very safe place for transvestites too. There is nothing particularly wrong of taking advantage of that. At least not, I don't think so. And uh, I assume that if I wouldn't pass as a real girl, uh, people would assume that I am a trans girl. And that was kind of okay with me. So I arrived to my friend's house and uh, as soon as I get in, I started doing my makeup and putting on a dress because I thought that if I was going to do it, I should do it right away. That was honestly a really good decision because the second I get out, I got really, really nervous. My mind was screaming to me to get back inside because it was safe there, but luckily my friend was there with me, so I was able to assure myself that nothing bad would happen and she would protect me. But uh, then there was two strangers who passed me by. And that was the most uh, frightening experience that I have had in such a long time. Because I was like super super nervous of facing them. And uh, as soon as they got by, I felt instantly relieved because nothing happened. <laughs> and like everything after that was all the more easier because then came the next pair of people. They passed me by and nothing happened. And the same exact thing happened with every single passerby I faced in that trip and uh, well it was actually really uh, liberating to be honest. We went to walk to lake nearby and my friend took some incredibly cute pictures of me <laughs> posing in, in, uh, in the shore of that lake and then we came back and I was so thrilled about that experience so I said that hey I want to do this downtown where there are lots of people and so we did it. We took a very crowded bus to go there and I was really nervous because I was wearing um, a very noticeable dress with a petticoat and all and still uh, nobody paid attention to me and we went to downtown where there was like Chillions of people out there, and uh, nobody gave a, another look, to be honest. There was even one woman who smiled at me when I passed her by, and uh, we went to the restaurant and we ate, and even the waitress was so nice to me. We walked into the Central Park and then we actually had a really bad luck because it started raining there so we couldn't spend too much time in, in the city central. So we hit the bus and went to the supermarket, like the department store kind of supermarket and we spent an hour there and uh, yeah, um, after that experience it didn't feel like anything anymore. I was feeling myself pretty because I was wearing uh, pretty clothes. But the, all the thrills and excitement, it fell off right away when I noticed that no one actually cares. And uh, I don't know, like did I really expect something more dramatic to happen uh, when I get out? Uh, or what was the deal with me, because I didn't felt that I became addicted to that habit. <laughs> like, I didn't feel instantly uh, wanting to do it again. And I don't actually see myself doing it again uh, anytime soon. So, kind of the mixed feelings actually, because uh, like maybe that is not something that I want to do. 
I maybe I don't want to go out, but I'm still glad that I did it and uh, I would strongly suggest and recommend for everyone who feels like trying it, go to another city where you know it's liberal and uh, try it out. And uh, if you like it, I good for you, great, uh, keep doing it. But at the same time, it's okay if you feel like you uh, you got what you want and uh, it's out of your bucket list and now you can move on and do the things that you enjoy doing more. I guess that that has something to do with that. I, I don't necessarily enjoy going out uh, in general because I, I, I don't enjoy going out as a boy either. I don't, I'm sort of an anti-social person, <laughs> to be honest. I don't, I don't enjoy uh, going in town or uh, go shopping or anything like that. I do that shit online <laughs> if I can. And uh, I'm trying to avoid uh, places crowded with people. Maybe things I enjoy doing as a girl are the same that I enjoy doing as a boy. Because like uh, exposing myself to public has never been a part of my cross-dressing. The thing I like most is to dressing up in my private, taking pictures and making videos. And that's pretty much it. Like I don't see myself living as a woman. I, I, I enjoy it like brief periods of time. Could I go outside again? Maybe. Uh, if I was uh, ever given another chance, I may do it again in some day. But at the same time, I don't feel like instant need to go out. But like, don't get me wrong, it was still really, really nice experience and something that you should definitely try out if you are ever given a chance to do it safely and do it in uh, some another city where it's safe for you and uh, you don't risk anything <laughs> when you are going out. So yeah, uh, so yeah, that was my experience of going out as a cross-dresser. If you like this video, be sure to hit like button there and if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button and you will see my new videos whenever they are coming out and uh, if you like how I look and would be interested of seeing my modeling stuff you can go to Instagram where I publish more uh, frequent content <laughs> I would say so um, yeah the uh, Australian Nights uh, I will see you next time so stay beautiful and stay strong